next step we're going to do, you're going to need your, uh, you're going to need your carbon fiber strip that comes in your, in your pack right here. Now you have plenty extra, and you're all, you're not even going to go past this little counterbalance line right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to, uh, you're not going to worry about clipping it to size right now. But the first thing you want to do before we get started on that is. Make sure your tabs are cleaned up on the leading edge right here, because I think I forgot those. So what you're going to want to do is just take a knife or a sanding block, whatever you want to do, clean it up first to make sure that uh, those tabs aren't going to lift the, the strip up. Let's see, you've got to glue it down. paper down is because you're going to have a lot of glue uh, spillage on the bottom uh, so you don't want it to stick to the cardboard and it's a lot easier for removal this way. So now uh, the best way to do this is you're going to want to take your sanding block and you're going to want to sand one side of the carbon strip and this, this makes for better adhesion once you glue it onto the wing. It actually had them come clean off, off of the leading edge. Just a light little sand like that. Also, kind of want to go cross grain too. Just a bit. You want a rough edge. Alright, you can you can obviously tell which side has been which side has been um, sanded because the side doesn't shine. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that set up, and you're going to get your glue bottle, and you're going to start. You're not going to glue anything here because that's got to move. That's got to move there. The reason we have those is just to really make the roll rate a lot faster and more responsive. So you're going to start here on this little counterbalance line right here, and go uh, about eight inches, and that should be good for start. What you're going to do is you're going to put these down. Actually, before you do that, you're going to take your glue bottle and sort of smear it with the side of the, with the, side of the, um, the nozzle. Make sure the, the sanded side goes right up against the wing. You're going to line it up and just plot it against it. Make sure it's all flush, nothing's lifting up. Get your kicker. Tack it on the end first. Be very careful about getting kicker on the hinge tape because uh, kicker is notorious for taking the adhesion off of the off of the tape, and it all just turns into a very annoying goo. That's better. Yeah, it's a little stuck to the paper, but it's not a big deal. You can take your ruler, go underneath like this, and just peel it off. That was easy. Another good thing to have around is some Kleenex, so you can get any of that on hand. Really does help out a lot. It's mainly just for getting all the old kicker off. Clean off your wax paper too. Make sure you wipe all that off. You can reuse that kind of extra knife, so I'm not going to throw it away. And now, you can sort of peel it off a little bit and you can see where it wasn't glued. So you're going to start from that point on. You're going to go all the way up to the half of the wing. And you're going to want to kind of wipe it flat too so you don't get too much. Take a Kleenex wipe off that excess. And now, you're going to lay it down on the wax paper. Make sure it just slaps right up against. Um, now you're going to take a kicker. Make a quick pass. Take your clinics. You really want to make sure you get all the old kicker off. Because that could be really annoying later on. The reason I say you're going to want to stop to about half is because that bend is going to be the trickiest part when you're doing this uh, 
this carbon strip. So, I just glue together. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you also want to get the back just a bit too, so we, uh, that's not the area you spray, so you want to make sure that that part uh, is really hardened before you start the next half. Now, what you want to do is pull this part like this. Take your glue bomb and start uh, about five inches this time, a little bit less. Because it's a little bit easier to maintain, but it's also just enough to um, make sure you have it on there. Take your glue ball, sort of flatten it a bit so you don't get too much. Right down. Now this is the tricky part. You're going to want something like your lighter. You've got it. And just sort of push down on that while you have it holding. Take your spray. Hold that there for a few seconds. You really want to hold on to this, make sure this hardens before you can let it go. So if you have a, when you're doing this bend here, if you do it wrong, you'll get a little bit of a, you'll get a little bit of a, of a pop out here, and it'll misalign your, your cowling, and it'll screw up your motor mount. So you really want to make sure that part's clean. So now that you've got that bend done, you can go in here and start with the rest of it. Make sure you kick it the other side too, make sure it's a good firm hold. See where it, where it, where it didn't get glued here, so you're going to continue from that point on and go all the way down to the end. Also, kind of using my knuckle down here to get a perfect distance too, so I don't get all over the side and the back and it gets to be all messy. So now you've got that. Just lay it down. Make sure it's all flat. Bring it down. And your pliers or your cutters. You don't want to use that cutter side. Move the aileron a bit. You can probably even grab it like that. And then you want to make sure it's out of your way when you're cutting it, but you also want it flat like this. So you're going to clip it right up against that, that wing piece right there. Just kind of angle it down. And that's good. And sometimes if you have if you have dull pliers like me, you're gonna go in there and you're just gonna crimp that um, crimp that carbon down so it doesn't look so frayed. That's much better. Keep that carbon. And now we've got a nice strong wings bar. So now that this is done, we can set this down. And you're gonna want your cowling piece. This. And you're also going to want your tail coupling and your elevator. And this next step is really easy. So what you want to do is you want to find if you've got the smooth side up, you're going to want the smooth side up on this. Take your ruler, just sort of match up the the, t the tab holes going all the way along along the center of the wing, and match it up with the cowling. Once you've done that, you can take a uh, something point and just go in here and make a little bit of a mark on each side of the cowling so you know where where the where it's supposed to be. So now we're gonna glue this edge right here. Just a little bit goes a long way. Soft side up because we have the soft side up here. And you're gonna want to find those marks, those little guide marks you just made. And make sure you got those. And make sure you have a lot of pressure on that. Okay, good. I'll just hold it there for a few seconds. And that should be fine. 
wipe it a bit. And now that that's on there, I want to come around to the other side. I'll go up here excess glue. Okay, good that. And this is ready to go. Now, you're going to want to take your tail coupling, and because this part's going to end up meeting here, you want to really make sure that this is all clean. You want a nice solid connection here. So you're going to take a knife or sand, sand block, whatever you want to do, and just clean up those tabs or any bit of fray you might have there. Check it really quick, make sure it's absolutely flawless. So now, we're going to take, uh, actually I'm going to set this off if this is bothering you. Just on the outside edges. Little pet peeve of mine, I want to make sure it's clean before I put it on. Make sure it's over the wax paper, and then there, slide it right into place, and put a little bit of pressure on it, just wipe the glue off. Again, clean out the glue, get the back side, give that a few seconds, and then just clean it off. Now, the last part to your horizontal area. Now, I've done this so many times, but I have also made this mistake so many times, is putting on the elevator with the wrong side bevel like this. If you have the hinge tape on top, make sure you've got the hinge tape on top here as well. But uh, it looks like I've got a little bit of a tab here, so I'm going to clean this up. Because this is a joint, you want to make sure this is as clean as possible. Make sure your elevator is, is clean too. Doesn't look like there are any tabs there, so it should be fine. Now we're going to go in and just glue that in place, just like you did the last one. Uh, 